Hey, what's up out there, traders? This is uh, DJ Johnny, Day Trader Rockstar for uh, Thursday. What is tomorrow? January. Uh, <laughs> I messed up something. I did a whole watch list and I forgot to turn the uh, mic on, so I'm very, very disappointed in myself. Uh, tomorrow's the 10th, so I got to do this whole watch list over again. I'm a very, very stupid person I am sometimes. Anyway, I just want to get it out early. Instead of getting out at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning and no one gets it until the morning, I think it's important that everyone does their research each night. Uh, Texas Instrument, I had up uh, as finishing off my last video, but what I want to start off with here is, you know, today's market, actually. It's going to be one of those nights. I cannot believe I just did that. Either way, uh, we had a nice rally today. Um, again, I'm going to start the market, start this off awful. It's going to be awful. Nice rally in the S&P. We're getting a crossover on the statistics. If we zoom out here, we never really quite got down to the 1370 area on the S&P. But if we looked on the uh, industrials here uh, and the U, you'll, you'll notice that we did get right down to that level, actually crossed under it. So we showed a lot of a nice bounce off of the August lows here. A lot of people were waiting for that to happen. We also had oversold conditions in the statistics and oversold generally in the market. So the market was dying for a rally. Again, uh, I was calling for a rally about maybe around 220. It happened right on the dot. And that's going to be, I'm going to focus on uh, some timing issues and some indicators in my next educational video. I'm going to try to, I'm going to put that out tonight. So look for that. But as different times in the day, you should be looking for reversals. And 220, between 215 and 230, I call the 220 reversal, is when you can usually see a good chance of a reverse of the market. And I don't know why, but the powers that be uh, got a real good doozy of a uh, rally today. So we're able to profit nicely off of that on some of the stocks we've been picking up. Again, I was picking up small shares. You know, it's hard to pick a bottom in this market, so you have to go in very light. And that way you're in it in case the market gets a nice rally. That way you're, you're in it either way. You don't want to jump in in case the market continues to sell off and you end up in a hole. But if you start just scaling in 10, 20 shares at a time, if you do get a rally, you can always add to that in any way. Either way, you're going to be in a winning position. All right, so uh, you see the, uh, the, uh, the nice rally we have there. So we're going to watch tomorrow closely. Um, what you know everyone was talking you hear this a lot on cnbc and i hear this on a lot of really good analysts out there they say if this market is going to rally there's a couple stocks that are going to lead the way and these are the stocks that you want to be in uh, you're going to see this in google apple a lot of the best of breed stocks uh there's a lot of them out there you know you just want to be uh focused in on these if the market truly is going to rally Google is going to lead the way, and Google is going to have to bring this to bring this market up because that's where the major money is going to go back into. Everyone knows that Google performs, has great earnings. Everyone knows they're going to have outstanding earnings this next reporting period. I know there is because I give them a lot of money themselves. I I use Google uh, services all the time, so I just know that Google's getting bigger and bigger. And you know what? Before this uh, earnings season comes around, this stock is going to be back up, you know, back up higher than it is today. So. Problem is catching the bottom. We got a nice bounce today. I'll look for a continuation tomorrow. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna notice if Google leads the way, the market's gonna follow. Um, so that's the top of my list for tomorrow. Another one, Apple going into going into MacWorld next uh, next Monday. That's gonna be an interesting trade, also. All right, you see this 50-day moving average, falling right under it, but still oversold statistics. We're starting to bounce out of this. Should see a continuation tomorrow. Probably going to gap up. Uh, it's your call then if you want to take a little profit. It's probably going to be a little volatile, but depending on what type of news comes out tomorrow to sustain this market, you know, if we do get some strength going into this, you're going to see the tide starting to turn. People starting to talk about, uh, well corrections over you know everyone's a flip-flopper in the market all the analysts will flip-flop everyone wants this market to go up uh, so they're gonna try to keep it keep it uh, keeping going up with some positive positive comments one uh, you're gonna be watching out for closely is Citigroup uh, again the financials are also gonna be a, a telltale sign of a big market rally in the market uh, coming out of these corrections because once the financials are back in order and that could happen next week with uh, Citigroup announcing everyone's expecting Huge write-offs, huge cut layoffs, cuts, uh, maybe even a dividend cut. I would have to guess this is all priced into the stock. Now, um, my guess, you know, and I'm just, a, you know, I'm just an average day trader like everyone else there. But you know, 
you got to figure that uh, there's so much talk about this. This has to be priced in. I'm looking for a rally into the uh, Wednesday earnings release into that. I don't know how far we're going to get, but I'm just going to be watching this. And I want to see this as this carries this market. It's almost like buy the rumor, sell the news kind of thing. And then if Citigroup comes out and releases their earnings and it's anything better than what's expected or any type of transparency comes out, expect this market to rally huge. All right. And they might think that this whole debacle is behind us. Um, so that's going to be interesting. We're living in interesting times right now. Interesting times. So it's another one on my list. FSLR, uh, solar play, looking pretty bullish here. As uh, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of solar plays out there now. When you see a lot of them, you kind of consider the market to be in a bubble. Uh, all of a sudden, everything you hear is a solar a solar company. I'm like, well, you know what? It can only be so many solar companies. You want to stick to the best of breed. This one's still above the 50-day moving average. We have a nice pullback. Um, if we're all going to get a rally and the solars are going to participate, I'm sure this one's going to lead the way. You also want to be in stocks that are going to give you the biggest bang for the buck. So here's another one, FSLR. Um, another good sign of a market rally is the VIX here. It's the volatility index, another tool you should be using. Uh, VIX usually tells you, uh, what I like to use the VIX is if the, if the market's selling off, uh, the fear comes into the market and the VIX rises. All right. Um, and it has it goes by the same you know technical indicators usually as the market, be it the market leads the indicators or does the VIX lead. It's like who, what came first, the chicken or the egg. But in either case, you could tell that the uh, the volatility index is definitely over over uh, bought at this area, and that's telling me that we have a chance of coming back. And if when the volatility drops, the market usually rallies. So a lot of things are lining up for a decent rally here. Uh, my best bet, though, I, I am sticking to my guns. I do like, I do like the semiconductors here. Uh, one of them, actually, let me bring up the uh, semiconductors fast. Uh, the SOX, the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index. And what I was uh, saying here is, I'm expecting, and this is what I, I'm, 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 this, this is my, this is my call right here. I'm calling this a shoulder here. This is going to be a shoulder, and later on down the road, maybe in July. June, July, you're going to see another shoulder over here, and this is going to be the bottom area around 350, 355 would be the bottom in this market. And this is going to turn up and make a head, and we're going to make a shoulder, and finally going to make a bottom out. And everything's showing me that the stocks are back, are a buying opportunity now. Leading the way is going to be Intel. Intel is going to be back up. We're going to fill this gap. I'm sure we're going to be back up around the $26 level before you know it. So I'm very bullish on Intel. Also, want to keep an eye on Broadcom. Um, also, I think Broadcom is a buy here, and Texas Instruments, TXN, uh, that's not the right symbol, TXN, you know the symbol, uh, again, uh, down, $29 is usually good support for this one, again, everything's telling me these are oversold, and look for these, uh, to bounce here with the market. All right, uh, my time is up on this video, but I want to put out a couple more videos tonight on technical, uh, technical education, uh, some indicators, my best indicators, and how had to time uh, three of the best indicators and find the best point to buy a stock. So I'm happy to do that video for you guys tonight. I'm going to get that out tonight and uh, maybe another surprise video I'm going to put out on time in the market in different times of the day. So look for that. Uh, this is Day Trader Radio. You can listen to me each day. I'm calling the uh, call in this market, uh, stock market setups, chart setups, news, analysis, and good old fun. Uh, daytraderradio.com, 8 o'clock to about 5 o'clock every day, and uh, sometimes leaving later. All right, that's it. I'm over. I'm out. I'll talk to you in the, in the morning, man. Talk to you in the morning. Now I have to find where I, uh, how I turn off this video. <laughs>